What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another EMC. Today I am back at Diablo. And I guess you guys guessed it. I'm changing up the color to my M5. That was a really difficult decision because as you can tell, this Snapper Rocks metallic blue is actually quite special. I know that a lot of you guys did not want me to change the color. I guess I was just looking for something very iconic to the M cars. I want it to be like wolf in sheep's clothing, but you can kind of tell, you know, it's badass, but not too in your face. This Snapper Rocks is really beautiful, but it's just, for me, it's just a little bit too in your face. So I decided to come back here, Diamo, and you know, the Diamond guys, they're amazing. They are so professional. I trust them with all my cars. And I, I chose something that I think is quite popular amongst everyone. I'm sure it's something that all of you guys would like. That's what I think. So this time I went with 3M, the new 2080 series. And I had a really difficult time choosing because it was either I was gonna go for something light gray and a little bit like light charcoal or something that was like really, really dark charcoal. This car, it needs a little shiny effect to it, but I still wanted it to be matte because I think matte is more aggressive than glossy. With the 600 LT, I didn't need it matte because it's already aggressive enough. And I went with this color. This is the satin dark gray right here. We pulled out a sheet so you guys can check it out. Uh, let me get this right here. 3M, Rap Film, Series 2080. I guess I've been wrapping my cars for the last, I say, I think like maybe six, seven years already. I wrapped the G-Class about five years ago. And starting about a year and a half ago, a bunch of bubbles started to pop up. It started to, I guess just peel off a little bit around the edges. Now the G-Class with the Brabus White Star Kit is a very edgy car. Um, it's not very easy to wrap at all. I brought it back here a couple months ago and we also chose the 3M Satin Black. Now the Satin Black was a different finish than what I had before. And then this time, oh, the, the work is just Spectacular. I just want a little bit of a contrast. So this one, you can tell there's more sparkles. So from afar, it's a little bit like glittery, but I think that's what's special about it. And the effect of it, when you look at it really up close, it really does look like, like glittery paint. And I think that's what's really, really cool. 3M advanced a lot in their technology over the last few years. From the 1080 to the 2080, having so many different colorways and options. I mean, just for the red, there's so many different options for the red, you know? So, I mean, even for orange, what combination is of orange there? And 3M puts a lot of R&D and money and investments into developing better, like glue. Adhesive stuff is very, very important because that's what sticks it onto the car. Something's gonna peel off or there's gonna be bubbles. And they said that this time, because of the technology is getting better and better, it's easier for them to do all the labor. They said the 2080 series is pretty sick. I want usability and longevity. So when I put it on the car, I wanna make sure it's on there for a very, very long time. I'll come back and check up on the progress and we can talk a little bit more about the wrap.
Holy sh... I'm not gonna say the S word, but damn! You see this? Woo! This is badass. This, oh man, I'm, I mean look at it. It's like a, it's like a missile. Let's talk about this. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, I like that blue. Why did you change it? Well, this is why. It looks so much better. In my humble opinion, I feel like this is more suitable for me, okay? This color brings out all of the lines on this car. It brings out the modern edges. It brings out the technological advancements and it brings out the pure, beautiful design of the F90 M5. And that's why I think it looks like a fucking missile. All the lines are more evident now. Like, you didn't really realize that there's two streaking, bulging lines coming from the hood. And I think that's what is really cool because it contrasts into the roof line, which indents in. With that concavity in this bulge, you know, these lines really make up the M5. And I gotta show you guys this. For some reason, I always thought the M5 was very flat. A lot of people felt like the M5 didn't really have hips. You know, not like the older M5s or, you know, the older M3s, but you guys are wrong. This 3M wrap brought out all the lines and the bulging hip. We got some booty here. This line runs through the front fender, through the front door, the rear door, and it sinks in even more. And right here, it goes throughout the tail light, but then what it does is it actually brings out the curves of the rear fender. Now, like I said before, I like big butts and I can't deny. It's like matte, right? That's why I do think it's like a missile or a military spec M5. But if you just look at it really, really, really up close, you do see the shiny sparkles in here and the glittery effect. And I think that's what's so cool about this wrap. Let's just take a look at what is on the inside. Knowing me, I always ask them to do the inside of the doors because that is very important. Okay, when you open up the doors, it looks weird when you have another color in there. I think that people who are out there looking to wrap their car, don't cheap out on yourselves, okay? just. Spend the extra money and get the insides done. And not just here, if you look at it from, look, from the wheel well, above the side skirts, you know, that just looks so much better. Now, come around here, look at this. It's all gray now, you know, it's just, it's cohesive. You know, you want the whole experience. You don't just wanna sit out here and look at the car. Like, when I'm a passenger or something, I'm gonna get inside, I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, this is all gray. You want them to feel like it's painted. You know it's not painted, but it's wrapped. So this is where I wanna get into the benefits of a wrap. I think the majority of people out there who wanna get color wraps is very simple. You want a different look, right? You want a new car feel. You want a new color. You just wanna experience different colors. So for me, it made sense. Spending money to protecting what you love makes sense because in the end you have to sell it and you don't wanna lose more. So, first of all, it's protecting the original paint. Number two, I'm choosing a color that I think is better and that I like more, and it makes me happier. And when I look at this now, I'm just gonna keep thinking like, shit, my M5 is badass. And when I drive it, I feel cooler, okay? I'm shallow like that. And if I am gonna get tired of this one day, I can just come back here, they're gonna rip it off, wash the car again, detail it again, and then I can choose another color and put it on, and then I'll get a totally different feeling. And that's pretty damn cool. Will it get costly? Yes, so I think that you should probably just choose one color that you won't regret, put some time into it, do some research, look at all the colors that you like. So don't care about what other people think. It's about putting your own taste, your own preference, what you like, into your own build. And that's what I'm doing. And you know what? I know that a lot of people are like, dude, that's not like a very special color because I see this color out there a lot. Well, I like it, you know? And 
I don't care what you guys think, but I do want to hear what you guys think. So let me know if you like this more than the Snapper Rocks Blue. So I just want to give a big shout out to Diamond and 3M. They're always brilliant to work with. But obviously the M5 is going to keep getting more love on EMC. The build is happening. The build is going to be strong. The force is with us and we will keep going and we will keep documenting everything. So please stay tuned, follow along, and see what's in store for the M5 build. Thank you guys. See you in the next one. Peace. I do want to give a special shout out to Gustavo and uh, the 3M team. They're over there. They're over there. Just go say hi. Uh <laughs>